I feel a little bit embarrassed. I'm not going to lie. I kind of got it wrong. Remember we were talking about Trash Tuesday, Anna Lieberman leaving. Um, I think my hypothesis or my guess was that most likely she was leaving because of some differences between the three girls, Esther and obviously Kalila. But now having seen the video clip where they do address the Anne Liederman leaving on Trash Tuesday, it does genuinely seem like Annie's just leaving because she needs to do something else. She needs to kind of give her career. Like sometimes, you know, when you're like stuck, you just want to do something to kind of give yourself a kick up the ass. So she's quitting Trash Tuesday in the hopes that it would give her stand up career the kick it needs to kind of, you know, do whatever she needs to do. So um, if you check out this clip here, courtesy of the recent episode of Trash Tuesday, you'll see Annie announces her leaving. And it does seem like everybody's kind of cool with it. If anything, it seems a bit awkward because maybe I get the feeling Annie kind of decided she was going to quit and then told the girls. They didn't really, you know, have a chance to talk through it together. And I also think she kind of fucked up by not allowing them to kind of announce it all together. She did it on her own show. Then we had to wait another episode to get the, the response from the team so it's you know there's a little bit a lack of tact a lack of maybe courtesy a lack of maybe i won't say respect but just a lack of kind of consideration for your other co-host i think they could have done it together but it does feel like that she left on good terms i don't feel like there's any drama um if anything she just kind of wants to give her career a bit of a kickstart which is okay we'll see how it kind of goes but this is um annie explaining on the pod recently, the other day, um, why she's leaving Trash Tuesdays. Very grateful. I think these past three years have been really incredible. Incredible for my career. Um, I think for all of us, it's been special. And um, I'm really proud of what we created and all of fans and you guys. I just am really feeling called to start some new projects and sort of streamline my life a little bit. I've just been worn really thin and feel like I'm not showing up anywhere my best. This was like a really scary decision to make and like a very emotional one and not a quick one but I am like really excited about the future I'm excited to see what you guys create in my absence and I'm excited to see whatever comes my way and the projects that I get to um focus on and everything I mean it's I mean it's weird to say but you know I'm really excited I'm proud of you guys and everything and I did obviously get you guys some presents what that's what I do I didn't get to wrap them in time but Kalila's yours is still in this yours isn't as good but <laughs> that's such a sad <laughs> yours, but it's like yours is just so good I love things in Amazon bags what is it this is a C Cudio? It's a it's dog, a dog leg, leg brace because for all of your future draggy leg dogs. Oh, <laughs> this is so sweet. Thank you. And then this is for your goth baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's baby Doc Martens. I was oh my biting God. my tongue when she brought Doc Martens up. I was like, oh. Oh my God. Isn't these that are, so by the way, cute. she won't be able to fit these till she's 20. You can wear them for now. <laughs> these are you can so wear them while you deliver. For you, for sure. These are so, they so funny cute? and cute. Thank you, Annie. And obviously, like, we, it's a crazy situation, like, to be saying goodbye. But, like, you know, we, just what you said, it's like, I am so grateful for what we've all done the last three years. Yeah. I think it's, like, literally just magical and millions of people start podcasts you have no idea what's going to happen and the fact that we've been able to do so much and impact so many people and have so much in common and then all of us have so much not in common yeah. it's just been really fun and we support you like in whatever endeavors you do we'll be rooting for you and we'll be here and I think it's really exciting I love like you know obviously we're sad to lose you but like I love when someone wants to make a life change like yeah a hard pivot is is something that i've been raving about i think that um things are not made to last if you stick to doing just one thing forever you're not necessarily like growing and reaching like your optimal self we support you um this i know this wasn't easy um but also it's like this is three years of amazing content. Yeah. And so it's Hell like, yeah. like there, no, that's really... nothing to scoff at. That's like, you know, and things just move in different directions. Uh, Esther is having mm -hmm. a baby, a lot of big changes this year. I'm, <laughs> she just know. found out. <laughs> Boy, what? what you say, bitch? You're pregnant, bitch. <laughs> I know for myself, it is going to be a very, very different year for me. 
more to come on that. You and have an exciting I think, baby of sorts. Yeah. And yeah. I think that Her it's okay yeah. for, I, I think it's okay. Like change is okay. People moving on is okay. And we fully support you. And thank you for doing this with us for three years. Yeah. And, um, you know, I wish you nothing but the best. I hope that, um, you find fulfillment and peace and all the things that, you know, you've always set out to do in this life. And yeah, Annie, congrats to us for doing this for three yeah. years. I think that's so there you have it. Annie has officially left Trash Tuesday. I get the feeling from this episode, they don't really know what she's going to do. So she definitely, I get the feeling she decided that she was going to leave and then just informed everybody else after the fact but didn't really fill them in on what she's planning to do. Maybe because she doesn't know what she's doing, which is why I said in the beginning, I think it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a misstep because sometimes in life, you can sometimes think that things are holding you back, but sometimes the only thing holding you back is you. I swear to God. I've been in pen situations where I thought, oh yeah, so-and-so is holding me back. If only I had this, if only I had that. When really the real, my real enemy, my real op was myself. And if you can't handle fixing your life, getting your shit together whilst you've got all this shit going on, it's really kind of far-fetched to expect you to fix it when you've suddenly got nothing going on. Sometimes the pressure, sometimes the lack of time, sometimes being, you know, her having to be fucking, what's that word called? Her having to be, um, you know, um, her having people that kind of expect her to arrive on the show. Um, it's some it's maybe pushed her to do that show so often and consistently maybe she does it all on her own she might be a bit lackadaisical take a foot off the pedal there are certain things that are happening around you that sometimes help um you to kind of be the person that you are and sometimes you don't realize it when you're in a situation so um i don't really think it's a smart decision long term but again i do appreciate that everyone's different she might be the type of person who maybe does need to quit and start things in order to kind of get things going so maybe this is what she needs. Um, but it is a bit sad that, you know, they were, I thought they were friends and she didn't really consult her friends. They didn't have a chance to talk about it beforehand at length. They didn't really have a chance to work through their emotions and shit. They kind of had to just have to kind of, okay, I'm leaving. Okay, cool. We just have to sort of like, you know, get on with it. Because you can obviously see from Kalila's face, like she's obviously a little bit annoyed. So um, yeah, man, you know, it's a shame. But of course, it sounds like there's no bad blood. That's a good thing because it's a bit lame that all these pods, you know, they start off as friends. Everything's good. They're in good spirits. And then they always kind of fall out. I fucking hate that shit. I think it's so lame. There's no need to keep falling out. Like you can just, you can leave a pod. You can decide to quit. You can decide to do other things and it still be okay. And you still be on good terms. It doesn't always need to be, a, oh, fuck this person. This person's a piece of shit. It doesn't always need to be that way. So I'm glad to see that isn't okay so far. I just don't think that, you know, her banking, her her next kind of steps on that boyfriend is a smart, smart decision, really. Um, but let's see, hopefully. Let, maybe she can prove us all wrong. Let's see what Annie Liederman does. But it's good to see that there's no bad blood. Good to see that there's no bad blood. Um, Kalila's new project, allegedly they're saying that Kalila's launching some sort of like hair care product. I think it's around like surfing because I guess Kalila surfs a lot, so her kind of new project is going to be some sort of like hair care product for girls who surf. Um, you know, um, maybe something that is, that works good with like salt water and shit. I don't know. So that's pretty decent to be fair. It's something outside of comedy. Um, something that if it blows, she's going to make a ton of money, right? All that all cosmetics, um, hair shit, all that, whatever, hair and beauty, whatever that stuff is called, that category. It does make a ton of money. Um, the markup is fucking crazy. So obviously all the profit managers are fucking insane. So there's a possibility that she might make a lot of money off the back of that. So big up Kalila and obviously Esther's got a baby in the oven too. So big up them too as well. So it's a good, they, maybe Annie's leaving at the, at the right time because the other girls have their own things going on. They're kind of busy with their own lives. But um, yeah, it still feels like it should have been done together as a team. They should have probably talked talked through it a little bit more. But, you know, these things happen. You know, maybe people don't own your explanations. I don't really know. But Godspeed to Annie Liederman. Godspeed to Annie Blood Clart Liederman.